uh, of tonight's fall band concert. We are so thankful that you're here. Uh, if you were in the first half, you're going to hear a lot of the same stuff. But if, if you weren't here in the first half, man, it's so special to us that even during these trying times, even during these times where it's, or we're unsure, is it safe to go out? Is it safe to be around people? Uh, we have people that are willing to, you know, take on that risk and also, you know, wear some masks and help us out. And uh, we have the ability to do a band concert. It's a little bit different than what we normally did. We're only doing two songs tonight. Uh, and we've got, you'll notice your kids are hidden away. Uh, the wind ensemble guys are up in the balcony, and then we'll do a, a little switcheroo with some fun announcements. However, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. We're super excited. The fall concert, we always try and do two uh, types of tunes. We try and do a really traditional tune, and we try and do a tune that's going to maybe stretch your ears a little bit. Um, the first tune is not the traditional one. Although you might think by reading the program, Old Church is out, oh, must be an old song. Uh, composer Michael Polgrass is a Pulitzer Prize winning composer uh, from actually Chicago, Illinois. Um, interestingly enough, he has uh, passed away uh, a few years ago now, but he set out to write a piece that could be played by all age groups. Um, he says it could be played by beginners. He is wrong. Um, however, uh, about eighth grade or freshman in high school would be about right. And uh, the piece seeks not to make, you know, some kind of, tell some kind of story. That's our next team. But the piece seeks, seeks to set out some kind of mood or feeling. And if you've ever had the privilege of being in a really old religious space, you know that that has kind of some different connotations. And maybe your family was religious. Uh, and so that's why it has some connotations. Maybe your family wasn't religious. Right? And you walk into this old space and you think to yourself, wow, what, what is it about? There's something, there's something about this space. Um, in addition to that, no lion's roar on this one if you were in the first concert. That was a fun sound that we used. However, we did uh, we did buy out all of the mixing bowls at the Walmart. And so you guys can see our mixing bowl section back there. Um, the percussion part of that was, it does actually say on the percussion part, bowls one and bowls two. <laughs> yeah, so we do have a second chair bowls player. They could be the first chair and we're close. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, for all of you guys, uh, our first tune-up uh, is Old Church's, maybe a little bit bizarre, one of my very, very favorite pieces uh, for band. So uh, thank you guys, and here it is.
just the normal, just the average, just the everyday. Students can receive letters in any number of disciplines or activities, obviously sports being the one that maybe you're most familiar with, but many of our activities here offer letters, including uh, ROTC, um, in academics, in theater, and also, of course, uh, in band. To get a letter, it's kind of a, a process where students participate in band events, and there's point totals associated with all of them. By no means are letters a requirement, um, but some of our students you know, really want either the letterman's jacket or just to own the letter itself. It's, it's a little bit of a memento, memento and keepsake, and it recognizes our outstanding students and the outstanding efforts that they make for this department. I have one letter that I'm uh, able to give out tonight, super excited about it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to uh, letter recipient, Emma Thorny. Um, the tonight's concert, I'm getting to the end of my portion. I just want to say and reiterate from the first uh, half of this thing, the thanks that I have for any number of people, group one, uh, to all the parents who are out there taking tickets and, and collection programs, I really appreciate uh, your service, and we definitely couldn't do this without you guys. Uh, in addition to that, and it's pretty much the same group, uh, Portage Music Boosters is an organization that exists just to um, just to promote March of the Scaffold from Symphony Fantastic by Hector Berlioz, arranged by Calvin Custer. Thank you.